and if you want to know the recent updates press bell icon hi friends welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to influence the switch to change the port from blocking state into forwarding state that is alternate port into root port okay i'm going to show this by connecting two switches with two redundant cable okay once you connected the redundant cable to avoid the looping the root bridge will elect okay once the root bridge elect the root bridge the both port will be designated port the root port will be the lowest uh, uh, distance to reach the root bridge okay that uh, calculation will be done on based on the port priority and port cost okay once the port priority and mac address uh, is receiving the bridge id receiving the same pbdu then it will consider the port cost and port priority right now i am going to do by altering the port priority see once i connect the redundant port the both all the ports are in blocking state because uh, it will take time to put into forwarding state once the bridge election occurs see now the ports are into forwarding states okay one of the port moved into that is alternate port that is a blocking state that is switch to fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is alternate port that is a blocking port you can go and you can verify that by executing source spanning tree command okay if you execute the source spanning tree command you can see fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is in blocking state that is alternate port now i am going to the task is to change the fast ethernet 0 slash 2 should be root port the packet should forward it in that port how to do that do you know that root id election will take place based on the bridge id bridge id is a bridge priority plus mac address bridge priority is same that is 32769 the mac address is always unique so the BBD will be received from the root bridge switch to the switch to in a both the ports with the same thing same BBD same MAC address so the next election which port should be put into blocking state will be decided on port cost and port cost also it's sending port cost also it's same so next will it looks on the port priority port priority it will always look on the receiving port priority that is a neighbor port priority not self port priority so we need to change the port priority from switch one not in switch two okay that that's what we are going to do i'm going to change the port priority and switch one fast ethernet zero slash two from default priority that is 120 priority into priority 64 okay always make sure that port priority should be value of increment 16 that we are going to see now go to switch one okay enter the same before that check the switch to the fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is in blocking state okay the mac address of this switch root id mac address is 4be and priority is same and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 in forwarding and 0 slash 2 in blocking state now i am entering into switch 1 and influence the switch to fast ethernet 0 slash 2 into root port okay go to switch 1 go to switch 1 and enter source spanning tree the command and enter the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and change the port priority by executing the following command so spanning tree vlan 1 port priority into 64 okay i already said that port priority always should be increment of 2 sorry 16 increment of 16 now i am changing into port priority into 2 it will throw you the error the port priority in increments of 16 is required now once i enter that uh, port priority value you can see the switch one fast ethernet 0 slash 2 again re-election is occurring 
which port need to be in root port or alternate port okay you can see that after 50 seconds then again it will be put into forwarding state you can see now fast ethernet 0 slash 2 at switch 2 became in root port the earlier 0 slash 2 is 0 slash 1 is root port once you executed that command at switch 1 fast ethernet 0 slash 1 became an alternate that is a blocking state and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 became a root port you can see that okay this is the task i think we have achieved the task by altering the port priority on the neighboring switch always we need to say that the decision will be considered based on the neighboring switch only the port cost will on sending switch but it's ties then last thing it will looks on the port priority now the second task we are going to alter the port cost okay port cost for fast ethernet 0 slash fast ethernet is default port cost is 90 we are going to alter the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 of switch to port cost before that i am going to explain you by doing at switch 1 but it is no use okay and always looking on the sending port cost that port is already in a root port okay so even if you decrease that port cost it still uh, it will go for one only and it, there is a no use already that is in a root port i am i am i am executing this command Reverse fast ethernet 0 slash 1 i'm entering the spanning tree vlan 1 port cost is command is cost spanning tree vlan 1 cost and 1 okay after entering that you can see that there won't be any changes in the port because the file it's staying forwarding forwarding nothing nothing changed root uh, root, root election it's not reoccurring again okay root bridge election or forwarding port states there is a no change in now i need to change it on switch to go to switch to okay enter fast ethernet 0 slash 1 you need to change into port cost okay switch to switch one there is a no change already port cost was changed but no use i'm going to alter it at switch two you you may see the difference okay con 50 interface fast ethernet zero slash one same command spanning tree vlan one cost one cost one once you enter that see you can see that again re re-election is happening which port need to be decided into forwarding state okay the port is immediately moving into listening state okay see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is became a root port but before in uh, before declaring the states it, it will follow the, all the states listening learning and forwarding now it's in listening state then it became learning state now after 20 seconds it will become a forwarding state see the cost of the sending this port fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a cost is 1 so this is a lower priority wins so is cost wins so this was became a forwarding state before going to port priority always it would lose the cost okay the bridge id bridge priority mac address then cost then port priority port priority is from a receiving uh, bbdu port cost will be the sending bbdu okay this is this is the main uh, topic we plan to discuss on this video i hope uh, we discussed both things about port priority and port cost and we are discussed about what is the route, how route election was happen in real time we said we seen that how, how it was a uh, states of the switch moving into one state to another state okay i hope this video was will be helpful for you if you really like this video please like share and subscribe and please support my channel for future okay thank you for watching we'll see in the next video bye
subscribe the video and if you like the video press thumb and also share to your friends don't forget to press the bell icon to watch the videos as soon as possible bye